What's up YouTube, it's Go Explicit, the best source for GTA 5 knowledge, and I'm about to go over my top 3 most used items from Warstock on GTA 5 Online. Um, so I was kind of just going through and looking at what do I use the most in everyday actions um, throughout like you know versatility within missions and stuff. And I feel like I came up with my solid um, top 3 that I most use, obviously use a bunch of stuff from war stocks so don't think this is set in stone um, and I will throw a bonus in there because I kind of couldn't come up with my third and fourth one for a little bit um, but these are my top three most used items easily one of my most used items probably my most used is the oppressor mark II. I also call it the rocket bike um, it goes with anything you do to be honest if you're just doing missions if you're just going through the map um, it doesn't really matter what you do um, it does require a terabyte, which I'll go over in a second, but uh, the Oppressor Mark II is definitely where it's at. Um, don't forget to buy a terabyte. Obviously, I would buy one a terabyte before I buy the Mark II because you have to have the terabyte in order to customize the Mark II, put rockets on it, um, things of that nature. So don't forget that. But the Oppressor Mark II is absolutely awesome. It has a thruster, which gets you up in the air quick. Um, it locks on with rockets, obviously, and it's extremely accurate, I have found. Um, it does have flares that you can put on and divert missiles coming at you. Um, you can fly everywhere. It's easy to maneuver, easy to use. Um, I, I take it everywhere. I definitely use it every day. Um, it's probably my most used vehicle in the game at this point, and uh, I absolutely love it. I think it's a great investment. I definitely think you should buy one, get your terabyte, get your Mark II. I think it's going to you know, help you be more efficient. It's also going to help you be... I'm a better combat player. I would 100% invest in a Mark II. I know it's a little pricey, um, but I've talked about it in other videos. I love this. I use it all the time, and I would 100% back it up as one of my most used vehicles. There's a lot of customization options when it comes to the Terabyte. Obviously, it's really cool interior. You can access missions, but the biggest thing is you can customize your Mark II. So don't forget, um, in order to customize it, you do need the Terabyte. Another most used item is definitely the Akula. So I absolutely love this helicopter, man. It has stealth mode, um, obviously rockets, missiles. It flies like a normal helicopter. It looks super, super awesome. Um, I love the camo that I put on it. And uh, it's really easy to maneuver. So I use the Akula. What's really cool is obviously the stealth mode. So if you're doing like a mission or a business battle, you can actually use the Akula to mask whatever you're stealing so people can't see you on the map. So um, you can easily maneuver between missiles and stealth mode. It's very easy to set down, it's easy to turn, pretty accurate as far as shooting. It's not my go-to whenever I'm attacking people most of the time, unless they're using specific vehicles. Um, you know, the Akula is just awesome. I, the stealth mode is the biggest thing that stands out to me, obviously, but my go-to helicopter, it used to be the Buzzard when I first started, obviously, but the Akula is definitely what I most use now um, in online play. So I chose the Hydra as my third most used vehicle. Um, I also really, really like the P996 laser, so please do not get that twisted. I definitely use it too, but I felt more comfortable with the Hydra. Um, the fact that you can, you know, obviously get straight up off the ground, you don't have to, um, you know, jet stance shoot out of something. I really love that about the Hydra. It's accurate, it's quick, um, and the versatility is there, so I'm more comfortable with it. Uh, I do like the laser, so I do use it, but with the Hydra being able to just, you know, not need a runway to take off, that was the kind of selling point for me. Um, I definitely use it all the time, and it's my main used, you know, jet play. Um, the laser is quick, and it is accurate, so I use it in certain situations, but I think most of the time, my go-to is going to be the Hydra. Um, it's easy to drive for me, I'm most comfortable in it, and uh, it's accurate enough. It does have uh, missiles, it does have cannon, you know, normal machine gun gunfire, so... Um, the fact that it has the versatility of being able to land and everything, I would say I most use the Hydra. Um, guys, if you have any comments or questions, please let me know down below. If you have any advice or maybe what you use, you know, please let me know. I'm, I'm definitely open to hear anything, and I love you know, gaining more knowledge on things from other people's perspectives. So if there's anything else that you guys want to see in different videos, please let me know. Um, I appreciate the support, guys. I appreciate the subscribers or non-subscribers, likes, dislikes, whatever. I appreciate you guys interacting. So. I'll see you guys in the next video.